Is it true that you would like to see a hung parliament as a result of this election? Yes, I, 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 I'm afraid I have come to that conclusion. Now, could and you I, explain to our audience mm. why, as the most Eurosceptic of all parties, you would like a parliament where the balance of power would lie in the hands of the most pro-European party of all, called the Lib Dems? Well, that remains to be seen. I mean, we, we can't say that until we see the result of the election, but I'll tell you why. But that's uh, the likely result well, of I'll a tell hung you, parliament. I'll tell you why. A hung parliament... I agree, will set up a certain amount of confusion. It probably won't last very long. There will probably be another election fairly soon, and I hope UKIP will be in a position then to show all the failed old parties that they cannot form a government unless they grant the British people the referendum on our EU membership, um, which we were promised. And if you say to me, but surely the Conservatives are more Eurosceptic and all the rest of it and must have David Cameron in, David Cameron with a working majority is certainly the end of this country, and I'll tell you why. Because he has ruled out any form of referendum on our EU membership for five years. But he now, said if there's any more European treaties involving integration, there would have to be a referendum. Yeah, but that, you see, that, I'm afraid, is a red herring from Mr Cameron. Because if there were any more powers being passed to Brussels, all he has to do is veto that in the Council. And th what you've got to think of is five more years of integration uh, into the European project. Um, uh, you know, already things are going. The City of London uh, supervision has gone. Uh, the Foreign Service has gone. The embassies are going. Um, Justice and Home Affairs is going. The public prosecutor is on there. They say they don't want the public prosecutor. But, uh, oh. but uh, so you've got to think of five more years. And at the end of that, we won't just be enmeshed in the tentacles of the corrupt octopus. We may well be in its bowel and be unable to escape. And that uh, is a frightening prospect. Are there some Eurosceptic candidates, probably Tories, who, though not exactly on the UKIP wavelength, are close to you that you won't stand against? Yes. How many? Uh, I will be making some announcement, I think, early next week. I'm not sure yet. I'm working on a it. A handful? I think, um, up, I don't know yet, I don't know. At, at, at the party conference I said seven or eight. It may be up to a dozen. And um, I'm even thinking of, in some constituencies, um, asking our activists uh, to support these people, of whatever party. Um, uh, there are mostly Conservatives, because the Conservatives... will there be some Labour ones? There will be at least one Labour one at the moment, yes. I, I around ha a dozen... I haven't, I haven't been able to find a Lib Dem yet, I'm afraid. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't waste too much time. No, that, no. anyway, we, we'd, uh, like, we'd like a Lib Dem if we could I'm find sure one. I'm sure you would. So around a dozen candidates, not of UKIP, that are sufficiently yes. sceptical for you to step back? To step back... And maybe and, even support. And maybe even... Because... <laughs> We, want to get, we don't want to step those, stop those people getting into the House of Commons. Um, if we're not going to win the seat, um, I, I don't want um, our activity to stop people who are genuine come-outers, and I'm afraid I have to be absolutely sure of that. Good. Now, are you doing this unilaterally, or are you in discussions with them, putting conditions to them for no, withdrawing no, no. support? I, I, I'm, I'm, it's a matter of trust. I I know so you're not going to say... We'll withdraw if we really. No, can no, we know. You do this. We're just saying, doing it. We're saying we know who you are. <coughs> we, we know, know you from are, your record. And you know where they're standing. And we know where Sandy are. We know where Philip Davis in Shipley stands. We know where Douglas Carswell stands. We know where Philip Holloway stands. These are some of the names. Uh, yeah, and we would be mad if we put candidates up against them because in all those three cases, uh, a successful UKIP campaign could well stop them getting into the House of Commons. And <coughs> those are not seats we're going to win. What is the best you can hope to do? on May the 6th? The best we can hope to do is to win, obviously, Buckingham, Nigel Farage's seat, maybe a few other seats. I, I, I can't say how many, but as, as many as we possibly can, I, I would, of course, of course we would want that. But our, the best we can hope to do short of that is to show that UKIP has made a difference, that the, that, 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 and that the three failed old parties, as I've said, cannot form a government unless the British people are given the referendum that but they... But you could end up with no MPs, you accept We could, that. I accept that. Of course that's up to the British people. Malcolm Pearson, thank you for being on Straight <laughs> Talk. You.